Sam, what was the most delicious of the two diets, though? Because that's, <laughs> that, that's always my problem. I, you know, I'm all for this this first diet yeah. that you did, but I bet that was more miserable, wasn't yeah. it? Uh, well, the first one, no, not at all. I mean, it's generally my normal diet, just a high volume. Um, with the with the fake foods, though, it's great for three days. You know, <laughs> pig it out on, on Coke, chocolate, and pizza. <laughs> it's great. Uh, but then after after three days, um, I started getting jabbed in the back from my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> then um, yeah, it, it just went downhill after a few days because you you really start to feel the like you were talking about earlier, John, with the sort of the three o'clock lull um, in your energy um, and yeah, lo loads of other things. I just felt I, I was getting out of breath, so I, I stayed with the same amount of exercise throughout each one as well. And um, yeah, it'd be like about two hours of cycling a week, which is my commute, and like some. Tabata training, so it's 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest type things. And yeah, you get so out of breath um, from that. And on the on the low carb, high fat one, like you just you don't get out of breath like the like the cricketers at the end there were saying. You you don't really get out of breath because with higher carbohydrate diets, and especially sugar and refined carbohydrate diets, tends to lift your blood pressure and put pressure on your on your lungs and things like that. So yeah. It can, I'm responsible for writing all this and I don't believe it anymore. When my dad got sick, surprised us all. Ex-sportsman, lean, fit, healthy, never drank, boom, heart attack. I wanted to know why that happened. What I found shocked me. The average consumer is eating less uh, fat in their diet. They are eating a more carbohydrate in the diet, and we've got rampant increases in obesity, diabetes, heart disease. I found out that a lot of what I thought I knew was what you can only describe as lies. I've always been very cynical about diets. For 28 days, I'm going to completely disregard the food pyramid. I'm going to gorge on fat. That's good. That's good. We've been lied to about cholesterol for long. Some people don't understand how it works. This magic in fat. In my view, the prudent diet does not prevent heart disease. It causes it. And certainly it contributes to diabetes and obesity in a major way. I'm controlling my diabetes without treatment. Meat, fish, nuts, eggs, those in my view should be the core food. We're going to prove that fat is good. I feel a lot better. I've lost a lot of weight during the time without even trying. My favourite is um, a steak with nice pieces of fat on it. And uh, I'm quite confident in 10 years time that uh, the Western society will be embracing this uh, low carb, high fat concept. I'm just going to try and get to the bottom of how I can drop dead healthy. Just don't fear fat.